Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, NSL Sunpath uh, Products NSL News session from live in Dubai. Uh, we don't have Regan here this morning, and he's uh, neither in the air nor live. We'll do that later. It's only uh, Kurt Gaber. But I have um, a famous um, uh, guest here this morning, Mr. Craig Girard. Good morning, Craig. Good morning, Kurt. How are you? <laughs> Doing fine, thanks. How are you? You, you're always um, the, the first one here in the morning, whenever I'm here. You have already been here, like, s when are you coming? Five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning? Well, I, I have to come in and open up the team rooms by 7.15, and then we have a head of delegation meeting at 7.30, just so they can put out any new information. So it actually works out really nice just to be here in the morning and watch all the activity. Yeah. And uh, that's why we're here and seeing a different event today. Um, I'm very in any moment, we'll see probably some parachutes behind us. This is accuracy time, um, and they need uh, the low wind, I guess. You see the, those folks jumping every morning? They do. They, they always start off with the accuracy or the canopy piloting, just because the conditions are much more calm. And they see the beauty of, um, of, of uh, the landing area here, the drop zone, that others may not see it all this grass in Dubai. And actually, if we pan around the left side, you guys, this is where I live, up in these buildings right up there. Uh-huh. Nice little five-minute bike ride to the drop zone in the morning. Yeah. Not a bad place. With a nice view and also with a launching pad for base jumps, I hear? I, you could. You could. I, I, you know, someone told me they have done that here. Yeah. Okay, Craig, um, you're in the lead in Eightway. Are you uh, nervous? Not so nervous, but I'm very excited. Like yesterday, I, I truly had one of the funnest times I've had in a long time because, you know, I've been on a lot of really good eight-way teams, but to, to be on this team that we started with from zero jumps, and uh, they've had no other coaching except for Eliana and myself, and uh, super proud, but more than anything, they, they were just attacking, attacking, attacking. I, I, I was just beside myself. I had such a great time. They're gaining confidence now and are ready to m protect and defend the lead, I guess? Yes, they're, they're getting more confidence with every jump. And we're just really focusing on, on staying fast, but staying clean. Because like right now, there's a really tight race between the top three teams. And uh, the biggest difference is that we've been the cleanest. And so we're going to continue to go with that approach. It works well. There are some famous, there's some famous opposition because the French team consists of like eight-way world-class competitors of the earlier days, so, but you know them. I do, and actually I saw them last night in the bar <laughs> over at the hotel, and it was like having a big reunion. And uh, I competed against a lot of these guys in 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. And so the only difference is everybody looks the same, but everybody just has more gray hair now. But everybody, man, is it looks like they're having... Um, even a better time than before because they're they're really enjoying the moment and you're also jumping by yourself and that is a good thing of course we like always like to see you and watch you crack in the air but it has some kind of um, sad background too what was the reason that you are back in the air now with your eight way team well you know we've been coming here to try to help um, build a, an Emirati uh, a UAE national team comprised of only Emiratis and then Eliana and I, and I are the alternates because now we can compete for the UAE only in case someone is sick or gets injured or something like that. And so unfortunately, after uh, the U.S. Nationals, we, we traveled home. And uh, the same night, everybody slept on the airplane and was w very well rested. And so when we arrived, we, we got here into the UAE and uh, one of our team members Abdullah uh, bin Shahar, and he's been on the team for three years, and uh, very well-loved, well-respected, just an awesome, awesome guy. Uh, decided he was going to go ride his brand-new motorcycle uh, with his cookie helmet on instead of a, uh, a Scott, I mean, a motorcycle helmet, and unfortunately had a had a a fatal uh, motorcycle accident, and so it's very sad news, and uh, it struck the team was struck very deeply by it but um, you know the guys responded very very quickly like we we I mean we had here in the in the Islamic countries and the Muslim community they have to have the funeral the same day they try to so I mean the the morning was 
was, you know, very, it was difficult and, and with his family and, and the team members and everybody. But then we had to go to China the, the less than a week later. And so I thought we may cancel the trip, but the guys were all like, let's go, man, let's, let's, let's do it for Abdullah. And so the guys actually won the competition in China. And so since then, and I don't, I, I don't know if it, it has something, but it's, it's hard to not see some kind of a connection between the increased performance and, and, and those, those circumstances. But the, the team has just been going up, up, up ever since. And, and we, we miss him dearly. But uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate. Well, our condolences uh, to the team and to the relatives and friends. Uh, that is uh, very tragic. Um, and um, uh, he had a very special name too, you mentioned earlier, Abdullah bin Shahar. So for in, in, the, in the Arabic language, bin means son of and Shahar means famous. And so uh, <laughs> Abdullah told me a story when he was going to English class, his, his English teacher would call him, he would walk in the class, he'd, he'd say, good morning, famous. <laughs> and so, so yeah, he uh, kind of had a funny name. And, and a lot of times when we were in the United States, people would ask him what his name was, and he'd just say, Shahar, famous. I'm famous. <laughs> yeah. All right, Craig, today is um, four-way day, though. Eight-way is, um, is on a break, has a rest uh, day. Uh, what's going on in four-way? Well, currently we're in fifth place. There's 11 uh, men's open teams and there's four uh, ladies teams. Um, the ladies are in third place. Um, and then we are in fifth place behind Qatar, the U.S., Russia, Belgium. Is, it goes Belgium, Russia, then the U.S., Qatar, and then us, and then the, f the rest of the pack. And so I, I'm not really concerned with who's behind us unless they're right behind us. But uh, we've got some definitely some work to do because the Qatar guys are looking. They have two 18s the first two rounds. They're skydiving really, really well. Uh, our jumps were good. We're good. Not super strong, but we're hoping to have some better jumps coming up today. Okay, and uh, that'll wrap up um, the uh, Sunpath product. And is our news of uh, what's today? It's the 1st of December. Tomorrow is the, the 42nd anniversary of the UAE, so it's a 42nd birthday and it's the national day. It's a big celebration. Okay, thank you very much, Craig Gerard, and uh, we're going to watch a little bit accuracy and then move to four-way.